I have never played Rabby Ribby, Robby Ribby before. And I just wanted to give a quick, well, I will, I'll pause the clock, give a quick uh, disclaimer preamble. I have lots of issues what, with what the anime fan community regrettably refers to as fan service in games. And as far as I can tell, this game has a lot of that. Um, Serp actually reached out to me after Death Johnson added this to Subblock and said, don't let the fan service get in the way of you enjoying it. It's actually a super good game. So I have issues. You can watch other videos that I've done with anime games like Persona or Trails of Cold Steel is not that bad or the Valkyria Chronicles review or the video that I did on fan service to hear my comments on that. I'm going to do my very best to just not talk about it. Um, although I'll probably show on my face a little bit. Uh, in the past, anime games have gotten a little rough with me, and to try to keep things lubricated, I am going to drink some of my wife's gin that she had. So we're just, I'm not going to do this whole thing because that's an absurd amount of gin. I'll drink a bunch of it here. God, that's fucking awful. Okay. Robbie Ribby. Try not to think too much about it. It's going to be great. I need to fix the video settings too. So give me one second. Oh my. Okay, that's fine. It's already saying huh, hello. I hate all alcohol, but I don't see any point in diluting it. I'm going to try to switch it to full screen once I get an options menu. I didn't boot the game at all before stream. I usually do to get video settings set up. Oh boy. All right. Full screen, 1920 by 1080. Looks great. And I'll turn the audio up a bit here. Exit to Windows and restart. Yes. And warn me if a game is going to be anime AF. I actually should have done this for Trails of Cold Steel earlier this week. I failed you all. Uh, if you know you're adding a game that has anime in it, let me know so I can be prepped with some alcohol. The art looks cute. The art style looks competent. I like the rainbow now loading in the corner. That's neat. Okay, start the clock now. Story mode, new game. Casual, novice, hard, normal. Oh, it was a bullet hell game? I honestly, when I said I know nothing about this, I was literal. I thought it was a puzzle game. Yeah, we'll try it on normal. I've played bullet hell games before. Boss level is affected by items collected in story progress. More items always give player an advantage over bosses. You want to progress without worrying about exploring, grinding, or backtracking. Greatly affected by only the story progress. Collecting items is the key to defeating bosses. Now let's do standard. I'm glad that they spread. That's good that they separate those into two separate difficulty categories. I think that those deserve to be in different spaces. A puzzle of how not to get hit. There's a bunny lady in the box. The sprite art's really good, though. I actually didn't know this had sprite art, either. That helps. I can talk. I'm a talking bunny. Bunny just can't talk. So it is Rabby, like rabbit. She's a bunny frog.
cute and sexy. Yeah, Shantae... Shantae's excessive, but it's so over-the-top excessive. Like, as soon as I ran into the sexy zombie, it was hard for me to continue to, la to like, take umbrage with it. Oh, wow, I drink a lot of gin. Uh-oh. I only drank half the thing. I probably should have poured it in the shot glasses. All right, no, we're going to play the game. Fully alert. Bullet hell. Left and right to move left and right. Press A to jump. Hold longer to jump higher. Arena can only jump three blocks higher. High right now. Start to skip an event. It's all right. If things go really badly or something, I'll restore the sub-block. Don't worry, Death Johnson. I got you, friend. Cool secret. Ooh, we got a Metroidvania map, too? Uh, I kind of dig this. I don't know what I was expecting. Laying on the floor forever. We'll be good. Andrew will be home soon. lunch. Well, it's only... Three o'clock here. Should try a different path, okay. I'm really interested in how bullet hell is gonna become relevant right now because this looks like a Metroidvania. She has the one stocking, asymmetrical stocking, nylons. No more questions. I know everyone loves bunnies, but taking breaks is important, too. There's so many of you, I'm having trouble keeping track. Hmm. This is really unexpected. Is this a Western developer in this game? Korean. Prologue Bunny Meets Fairy. Oh no. Stuttering character. He's thinking out loud and didn't notice you. Of course she was thinking out loud. D don't smile at me like that. Oh my god. Okay, it's okay. Wolf. Oh, cool music. You with the bunny ears, you can't go through here. The beach is closed for now. Rumi of Rabi Rabi Town? Past chairs through the beach. Continue searching for your bunny. Who's...
try out this human form. Hey, we got a health meter. A little thing that says the name of the song. Okay, I don't have any attacks. Don't touch the bunnies. Got it. Working on it. Okay, thought that was an exploration fall, not a death fall. Can't drop through platforms, which is interesting. A path behind that rock. Ooh. All right. I'm still really interested to see like what makes this a uh, bullet hell game. Cause so far, it's a Metroidvania. Yo. <laughs> Pico hammer. Press Y to attack, press it repeatedly for a combo. This level arena can only do a three hit combo. Attack enemies to get hammer experience. If you append virtually any noun to the word experience, I'm on board. And this game has a stamina system? That's pretty dope. All right, let's like beat the shit out of some adorable animals. Is that mostly what I kill in this game is cute creatures? I killed a little baby duck. And a cute pink baby rabbit. What is the most absurd noun that you can append the word experience to? Go. Bet you can come up with something. Taco experience. Make that game, Oggity. Do it. Go. I want to see a game where you earn taco experience. Taco prestige. You could have a taco grid that you have to slowly unlock. That's a wonderful question that affects. Cup and ball experience. <laughs> I like memory loss experience too. Okay, cool. They taught me I can break blocks with this thing, but not walls. I think you could probably do memory loss experience. helping. I killed a baby mushroom. Spectral cave is under the forest, but where's the entrance? Look at all these buttons. All right. Good looking out, Death Johnson, including this game. I think the mechanics of this game are my shit. Don't know about the style yet, but I commit to alcoholizing it in the future. Attack range increased? So is that reflected by the animation having like shiny golden crap coming off of it? I was beginning to doubt your commitment to sparkle motion. <laughs> Two different skill trees for taco creation and consumption. We're on we're on a roll here, folks. I would play this game. Somebody make a RPG maker Taco Bell RPG. The design space is there, right? Like, you can apply the principles of design space to Taco Bell. They have only so many ingredients, and they try to combine them in every way possible. So this is a chalupa that has a quesadilla in it. Staying under the save point recovers HP. Press down to save Arina's progress. When Arina's HP reaches zero, she'll return to her last save. Okay. Well, that's... This game has respect for my time. I guess the beginning had a lot of dialogue, but... It kind of shuts up with the saving thing. It doesn't take a long time to process. <laughs> Using it shortens your lifespan. Farm sim plus cooking sim. What's the giant glowing disco ball? I really like quesadillas. I've been bringing my own hot sauce to Taco Bell lately. So intensely curious what upward attack? No shit, that's pretty cool. Hey, randomly attacking walls pays off. Value. 
Oh, but I can't crawl yet. No. All right. Someone remind me to remind future Marston about that once I get the mystical crawl ability. I bring my own hot sauce to Taco Bell. People look at me funny, but it greatly improves my Taco Bell experience. A little flip she does there is cool. So right now I'm uh, partial to a Santa Fe branded hot sauce. I can post an image of it in Discord later if somebody tags me and reminds me. Because it's easy for me to get and it's the right balance of flavor and uh, hot. What's with all the red mushrooms? Coco, she's a cat lady or fox lady. That should is deeply unsurprising. We're gonna get every lady appellation that exists. She's a kitty, okay. Do they really do they do dog is there a sexy dog lady? Is that a thing? Good, the art's cute. I agree, is the Watch out for the lady lady. Oh shit. She have like those uh like the, the leg lamp from um Christmas Carol sticking out of her head. Bunny ears? You must be one of those bunny lovers. With all these people wearing bunny ears, I must have tuned them out. Master Rumi's bunny. Back off, weirdo. I may be poor, but I'll never join your group of crazies, as though, like, being poor is often associated with crazy groups. Expensive whale meat tacos? Yes. Taco Hawkers Cyberpunk. This is a boss fight? Seriously? That's funny. She thinks I'm like a crazy rabbit cultist lady. She just throws little rocks at me. I like the zoom in when you're doing a combo. Also really like the SP system. Quad combo. All right. Stamina is one of my favoriteest things. Dark Souls didn't invent it, but the idea that like you can't just press the button over and over and over, you gotta think about it a little bit. What was the game? Castlevania Order of Ecclesia had it. it worked pretty well on that. Is she doing a super move or some shit? She is doing a super move or some shit. The drill attack's pretty cool. I like that each of the level ups is a unique ability. Oh, that's the... Bullet hell mechanic. Cute. I think we beat her. No violence. Who hits people with a hammer? I won't lose the likes of you. Bunny loving weirdo. I like Cookie Clicker's deep grandmother secrets. We should figure out how we can do idle games like Cookie Clicker on stream. I feel like we should feature Cookie Clicker at some point. It definitely counts as an awesome game, but it feels like it would be hard to do. Penta combo. The friendly flower is an enemy? Come on, man. Who even throws a shoe? I got the carrot. Carrot bomb. Okay. Press down Y to use the carrot bomb. Its damage is not too high. Carrot bomb damage recovers SP. What? No. Carrot bomb can destroy some blocks and be used to find secret passages. Also finds levels up on the stage. The carrot bomb gains its own XP. Oh my goodness. Shorter carrot bomb delay. All right, so that's what that difficulty was like. Do you want to grind? Because we can set, we can, 
We can enable that. Oh, look at this. Classic. Classic, right? We can't leave until we understand the core function of the carrot bomb. Bravo. Robbie, Rib Rabbie, Ruby. Health up. They're selling tacos. They're so good. They violate the health code. I like that the health code is, in this universe, automatically opposed to extreme flavor. We cannot leave until we understand the core function of the carrot bomb. I haven't read Chu, no. She disappeared? Maybe I can work back to Master from here. Ooh wee, she's trying. Oh, she did it. Nope, that wasn't home. That was a crystal cave. <laughs> Hot sauce contains a legal maximum amount of amphetamines. Being a human might not be so bad after all, she says. Well, I'm a human now. Yeah, that was a shitload of gin. Oops! Everything's good. I'm enjoying the game. It's a fun game. Thank you, Death Johnson. We're gonna play the game. Two hours is a good amount. It's a fairy. A fairy. A ribbon. No. Big oof. I'm not really a bunny. I just have bunny ears and an inappropriate bunny cup. Whoa, it's just an enemy? I don't need a heck. Does everything want to kill me in this game? Do I earn XP through... Hitting or, all right, let me think if I can phrase this question correctly. So that, when it shows me their face like that, that means it's a bullet hell mechanic, got it. What? I had a question, but I forget what it was. I did play Ghost Trick, yes, it was, uh, E10's floating system game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I need to figure out where I take damage because I think that my hitbox is smaller than what my character looks like. Oh, Jesus. Ow. indicator of the hurt box yeah right like there's like a dot or a... I like the the super on the nose with the heart in undertale it's pretty great the dark souls of anime great. this fairy lady's on the box art she's the one that made me go oof with a capital I think both O's are capital but the F is look the F is still lowercase. So cute and small. So earlier I was like, whenever I do an anime game, I need to make sure I plan for it and drink before the stream, but I feel like that's not necessary. I'm such a lightweight because I never drink. I can just drink it right at the start and we're good. Not quite maximum move. That's right. 
It's two thirds of the way there though, which is pretty high oof. Oof is a strong... This is a Gen Z term, isn't it? This is the people born after the year 2000 that brought us the word oof. I salute them. Yeet, I can't quite get behind, and it might just be because I don't understand it. But oof is a very useful phrase. A bunny lady with scantily clad fairy lady. Oof. Yikes is... I think, I think oof is better. I think yikes implies more of a value judgment. Ooh, for the pH, I see. <laughs> O-E-U-F. Yikes, reminds me of Scooby-Doo. I'll try to help rescue them, you know it. Hi, Benedicts. Are you so little? I want a mild value judgment. Yikes to me implies, like I'm definitely judging the values of this game, right? I'm doing my best to keep quiet about it. Press X to use Ribbon's rapid shot. Hold and release X for charge attacks. Ribbon gains relationship XP whenever she attacks. Sorry, Ben, I didn't mean to pet you so aggressively there talking about relationship XP, but it was a noun XP and I liked both the noun and the word XP. Thank you, Ben. Yes, I love you too. I can destroy the shining rainbow thingamajig. Yep, I love you too, Ben. You're very cute. Relationship XP is extremely anime. Deeply anime. With the deep magics. This is a cool game. Relationship level up. Charge speed increase. Well, that tells me that charge is a thing. Does she have her own stamina meter? She doesn't have a meter. Oh, that's very interesting. Can you fly or some shit? Maybe double jump? Death experience. You suck. You can't do it. You'll never do it. That's the end of the game. Is it Rabby Ribby because it's Rabbit Lady and Rib Ribbon Lady? Brilliant. Like Chantelise or Reciteer. I'm a genius. What, what? What, what? Mexican flag with a hawk instead of an eagle. A taco in its claws instead of a snake. Brilliant. Do you use your Mega Man charge ability? I want you to get relationship XP for shooting lasers. Man, wouldn't that make the dating world way easier if you could just laser your girlfriend to death and then she would love you more? Taco Nologies? Oh my god! This game is happening. I have like a little Google Doc of game concepts if I'm ever in a position where I'm able to work on a game. I think the Taconology Sphere Grid tree, it has to be like a comparable complexity to the Sphere Grid, right? I think we could make that work. I think there's enough taco design space. You have to steal secret ingredients from corporations, 100%. Andrea is not home. She might be bummed because now she's gonna have to, I'm gonna be the one doing drunk Taco Bell and she's gonna have to drive to sober Taco Bell. Got close because Miss Kitty says it goes to Robbie Ribby. Taco Yaki. It's good. Only work to places both of us have been. Alright. Let me go this way. I haven't gone left yet. I don't think I can use that up attack as a jump right now. Okay. Horp. A starting forest. That's a descriptive name. I appreciate it. 
Oh man, if you guys add Persona 5, I think it's gonna be way more fun than Persona 3 and 4 were. Instead of it being just like soul bleeding death suffering, it might be pretty silly. I think future Sober Mars that is gonna regret me requesting that people add Persona 5 to the loading spreadsheet. Don't do that. I know enough about Sober Mars to know that that's a extraordinarily bad idea, even if I have committed to some amount of alcohol. Quesadillas are served without cheese in Mexico City? That's nonsense. And the Necromancer special, right, Ravenna? I am reading this. I don't read out loud because I don't have a radio voice like my good friend LootFX who is like the premier streamer candidate to read things out loud. But believe, I am reading this text. I'm on board. There's a rabbit lady and there's a fairy lady and the rabbit lady wants to get to her masterman. I assume he's a min. He might be a, she might be a lady, lady man, but pretty sure he's a min. It wasn't mistress or, or missus. I don't need a liver. <laughs> a ladyman. Those are two girls with fake bunny ears. I didn't realize that Ribbon spoke in the third person. That I did miss. I was reading the text, but I did miss that she spoke in the third person. She's probably done that the whole time. After all these months, a bunny finally appears. <laughs> a bunny is... Is this the meaning of paradise? <laughs> Ribbon got careless and completely forgot about these weirdos. Like, she just exists in a reality where it's important to remember the existence of weird people that wear bunny ears. It's important to remember that, but because of the urgency of the quest... It slipped her mind. That's a very similar text scrolling sound. I can hear that. Everything we... Okay, I, I get it. Everything we fight is an enemy. Or, no, of course, everything we fight... Everything we encounter is secretly an enemy. Friendship is not magic. I guess we become... It's like Dragon Ball Z rules where you beat the shit out of your friends and they're like, we'll hang out now. Since you kicked my ass... I like you now. Dope, Leon. Ultra dope. Defeat equals friendship. There is a trope name for it. Thank you, Lutifix. Toho rules. Two girls meet, they fight, and they drink tea together. <laughs> Yeah, I guess sexy ladies in a game that's not about sexy ladies is very Toho, isn't it? Show no mercy. Who knows what they might do to you? But should I really treat bunny girls this way? Yes, they aren't bunnies. Don't ask why, but Ribbon is sure they enjoyed what you did to them. Jesus. H stands for Harold Christ. Do you know that Jesus' middle name is Harold because in Christmas songs, the song is Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and many stupid children misinterpret that as meaning that the name of God is Harold. So of course he would at least give that to his son's middle name. It's the beach. Have you never seen a beach before? I think she was in a she was just in a box before. That was like her whole life. According to someone I asked, if this is the beach, next is a ravine, and then we'll be in Robbie Ribby Town. Ra Ra Robbie Robbie Town. So, like, is that is that gee, uh, graphically true? Mana up. Oh, get hype. More SP is red. Can a beach be near a ravine? Is that even reasonable? Yeah, you just murder everyone you run into. It's pretty wonderful. Cute kitties. This area reminds me of uh, Super Adventure Island. 
All these people in swimsuits looking for bummies. This is troubling. Troubling is an excellent word. I know people poop their pants because of the word problematic, but it's such a useful word because it doesn't mean like this is garbage and we should throw it away, but this makes me raise my eyebrow in a mild amount of reasonable concern. Follow the most obvious path. Well, in that case, we should go this way, right? The beach could be at the end of a ravine. That's fair. Okay. I remember I read this very formative post on Giant in the Playground, The Order of the Stick, about how to make D&D uh, &D worlds, and now that, like, if you're designing your land masses, that they should follow a certain pattern, and then, like, archipelagos should lead to islands, and mountain ranges should lead to islands. It really stuck with me. You can't just, like, draw an island in the shape of a bird and be like, this is Phoenix Island. And not think about the mountain range on the la main landmass, Dennis. Jesus Christ. I want to have a Phoenix Island. It makes sense. Charge speed increase. That is a good upgrade. I dig it. I really want tacos now. Tacos are in my immediate future. I think Andrew is going to want them. So we've totally been here before. I just want to see if there's anything new in this direction. Can't use the up, jump, taco, or hammer ability after I've already jumped, which makes sense because then it would be like a double jump. Oh, that's cool. It affects. This is a cool game. I like this game. The core mechanics are nice. So far, we only have two things that are now an experience. We've got hammer experience and relationship experience, but the cathartic milestone for me is discovering what the next kind of experience is going to be. Healing stone makes the I already talked to her. Well, I think there's different enemies this way now, maybe? Boo! Railroading fairy lady. Dope, I didn't try this before. Carrot bombs. I do like the Super Mario Brothers uh, spring thingamajig. What is that? Defense trade. Equip it in the badge menu. In the main menu under badge, there is a list of available badges. Every badge costs pack points. Oh, it's like, um... What's the game? Pa papered Mario? I do like badge systems. Paper Mario. Yeah, we're hopping on. We were on the same page. Nice. Uh, I did not. Damage taken down, attack down. Fuck that. You know me so well, sir. I'm like, if it gave me a thing, it's probably good. I guess I get hit significantly less frequently than I do hits. Does that mean that I want to do more damage, or does that mean that I want to mitigate the damage I do take? I don't know. I don't... There's math there, but I'm not capable of considering it. There's a mana potion there. I want to find the place that had the bombable wall before. I don't think that's too much to ask. It's not here. I guess there are some bunny ladies that are not a threat. I can't tell the difference yet.
Mar Paper Mario is good 1 HP. Like, ways you can survive when you're only at 1 HP, is that what you mean? I don't think I can make that jump because of the weird jank. I need to play Thousand Year Door again, it's been a minute. Oh shit, there's a secret there, but I can't crawl yet! Oh my god. Remind me, remind future me. That's to totes malotes the thing. Can I review my various forms of noun XP? Maybe I can, but here it is. What's up, science lady? Ladyman. I did destroy it. Oh my god. You are not anywhere near trails of cold sky steel because in that game, there'd be custom dialogue for you blew up the wall. Wow, I didn't know that walls could be blown up. It's so impressive that people have carrot bombs in this world. Man, I could talk about this for at least seven more lines of dialogue. And the meaning won't have changed significantly. Still can't crawl! Make me Morph Ball Bunny! Probably can't swim either? Oh, I don't know if that's real water. Alright, game. I still gotta warpy warp. Path of Exile makes you want to stack HP. That seems like that's a that's a healthy desire. My distaste for HP is a statistic. It tends to get me in trouble in games. Although I tend to focus on it in uh, roguelikes and it does well for me there. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Murdering... I think the rule is if it's cute, you can murder it. Is that true? It seems reasonable. Morning is preparation time. Bad murdering that kitty and that meerkat. And you Dark Souls 3 have the most HP you can reasonably get? Holy shit. I wonder how many additional hits that allows you to survive in Dark Souls. Because, like, individual points of HP are usually not a big deal. Behind you, that's her. Their boss fight? Arena, finish them. Is there another term? It feels like we're resorting to violence. Do you think like you whacking people to death with a hammer hasn't been violent so far? All attacks contribute to the boost meter. At 50% when boost appears, press B to use the boost attacks. When the ribbon boost is activated, speed will be 25% faster. Oh, alright. I'm on board with that. It's this weird stop thing on the screen there. That's interesting. All right, so I'm still need to figure out how big my hitbox is. It's pretty tiny, I think. Alright, so the little E rank is like my current combo, I assume, next to the thing I'm currently attacking. Ouch.
Achievement. Escape from the Bunny Lovers. Who the hell is this? Ah, oh, shooty. Stop throwing magic around. You're going to hit somebody with that. Ribbon doesn't want a peeping Tom for our master. I am Arena. I'm actually a bunny. Arena, that bunny? So this is what you look like now. That car. All right, that makes sense. Ashruti loves to study non-human. She was caught red-handed peeping at Ribbon in the shower. Other than, other than being a sex criminal, she's a really nice person. Metal Gear. I should make an alias for Metal Gear. So what's that healing thing that popped up? Is that just a thing that could drop from killing an enemy that makes you recover health or something? There is a save point over this way, maybe not. There is. It's totally cute and innocuous if it's girl on girl. Or girl on guy. Then it's... Fine. Whoa! That's a cool attack pattern, at least. Wish I knew whether things were enemies or not. Pyramid suddenly appeared last week. It's taking up a lot of space on the beach. Whoa! Screw you, adorable kitty. I may be using her carrot bombs more often, the off chance that there's a secret. Hey, it's a health upgrade. Be careful with that penta attack because it animation locks me for a minute. How'd you get here? Don't tell me I'm slacking off in here. I'm shocked and pleased that there's not a custom sexy like full screen anime picture for every NPC in the game. I feel like this is the kind of game that would try to do that, right? I drew a bunch of hot rabbit lady kind of porn, and I want to show it off in my game. It's mostly just sprite art. This is not the road to Robbie Robbie Town. Don't railroad me, Ribbon. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't, but... I do like the enemy variety in this game. Having bullet hell mechanics is cool for that. Is there another bullet hell Metroidvania? Whoops. Well, that was a waste. Story. You can see that, yeah. There's a fan made Toho Metroidvania? Oh, that sounds cool. I've only played the one Toho game, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sh and I apologize to future people watching on YouTube, but I feel like if you played one Toho game, you kind of get it. 
Like if you want, if you want more of that, that's cool. It seems like you're in luck because you can get a shitload more of it if you want it. Hi, Benedict. Are you so little? There's nothing. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, I like this. I want more of it. I don't want it to be completely different. Aw, you're so cute, Benedict. He's so sleepy. He's sitting on my controller again, though. I'll try to balance his butt. Cool attack pattern. How very 1990 whenever Contra came out. There's a finite number of bullet attack patterns that can exist in the 2D game. I'm sorry, Robbie Ribby, that wasn't a fair criticism. Mega Mari? Hmm. There's a volcano thing under here. One day it might explode. Health plus. So that sounds like that's an easier choice. Sweet. Toho Mega Man? Hey, I like Toho. I like Mega Man. I like gold. I like showers. Stop railroading me, Ribbon! Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of getting railroaded. Oh, uh, shooty, she's gotta be a boss fight. I'm sorry they didn't fight her earlier. I'm sure he's a Toho reference. Minus the sex criminal aspect. Like, is being a sex criminal a typical Toho story mechanic? Oh no, she's a sex criminal in this game, so she's not... So, so Toho is more reasonable. It has fewer sex criminals. Alright, so my hitbox is quite small. You call me adult? How dare you? I am not in my right rightest mind. You gotta grade me on a curve, friend. You have to ask, is the dumb thing he's saying actually smart for someone who's a total lightweight? No, it's not. It's still stupid. But instead of giving him an F, I'm gonna give him a D minus. That's all I ask. Beef sex criminal. Ow. Oh, that's new. That's cool. Okay, she has contact damage, that's good to know. So BP shows up next to Ribbon on the screen, right? Ow. E rank finish. Star bullets, lasers, her outfit, her broom. I don't want to be researched. Beam gained yellow type attack. What? Press left bumper or right bumper to change ribbons at magic type? Huh. Which is an aiming tool? Oh, while charging, I'm doing damage. A mild amount of damage, but damage. That's kind of cool. 
Maybe it's good for combo maintenance. So do you get like a do you get like bonus experience points for maintaining a long combo or something? Attack up. Now, that's not a badge, right? That's just my attack power is increased from having found that thing. Can't get up here, I don't have a wall jump. It pierces, right? Rabbi Rabbi Ravine. Everyone uses the warp stones. Make sure I keep using the hammer. You don't have to talk to everyone here. Why do you feel the need to? I kind of have work to do. <laughs> That's, I saw the achievement unlock. Talking to everyone is unnecessary. That's great. Well, thanks, game. I'll stop. This is the small ravine. It doesn't look small at all. Saya. Hey, she's wearing clothes. But I think she's my favorite character. Maybe not. I don't think Sai is a rabbit. I think I'm the only rabbit in the game. I'm like the chosen rabbit. I'm gonna fight you. The girl with blue hair. She's a friend of the masters. Ben, don't walk on the... Maybe this cat's man. I just ignored her. Shot attack save. I do like that making whether or not you have to grind a setting independent from the main difficulty setting. I get that there's a crowd of people that actually enjoys grinding in games. It's not like it was a combination of grinding and like finding all those secret loot, right? Whoops, that was the wrong button. Well, that's the second time I've wasted that ability. I do like this song, yeah. Region up. Oh, that's I like region very much in a game like this. I'm an old school grinder. I will actively lessen my enjoyment of a game through grinding. It seems reasonable to do so.
Right, I can't use the up attack. Forgot while I'm in midair. Maybe I'll unlock that ability later. I don't think she can hammer in midair at all, actually. Can't get up there yet. So much more to explore in that cave, but I can't do it yet. What's up, cat lady? We're kind of tourists. Behave yourselves in town. If you make a mess again, you'll be banned. A waste of a perfectly good bridge. So you're calling out the whole warp stone thing. I don't think I've played too many video games where warp stones are something that's acknowledged by like the player base or the care the NPCs in the game. I guess the NPCs acknowledge save points in Chrono Cross, right? Something like Stardew Valley or Astronaut find it relaxing to farm resources. I think you're right. There's a way to do grinding in a way that doesn't feel intrusive, I guess. I'm working on it. jump. Only played one Metroidvania that didn't have a double jump, and it's Owlboy, which you can fly from the very beginning. I wonder if it has a degenerate double jump, like something that's the equivalent of a double jump, but presents itself with flying. I might mistake you for one of them. Crouch down and hop over there like a bunny. She's about to teach me how to crouch. Irisu. So this is a Korean game? It's hard to pretend to be Japanese. Cable's case story have a double jump. That sounds right. Did you get a jetpack at some point by making that up? Stone Stell first. Oh, the Master is a ladyman. I forgot what her name was. Rumi? Rumi? Rumi, hey, I was right the first time. Good job sobering up me. I probably need to drink a little bit more here in a second. It's been an hour. Everyone I've met is a lady. <laughs> yeah, it's we're at the hour mark, it's time. Foul. 
I know people. All right, it's fine. That sensation. Do yourself a favor and get a good one. Cute. Chapter one, we were in a chapter zero all along. Goodness gracious. There's a less appetizing choice of liquor to drink than straight warm gin. I'm just leaning into it. It's Bombay Sapphire, which I doubt changes anything. Foof. <laughs> Oh no, at the end, change the capital O, capital O, capital F. There's no such thing as a hack capital. No, there is, right? That's how they write the, the name of the Lord. In the Bible, they've got those small caps. I don't know if someone can find, like, the ASCII Unicode for a, a small capital letter F and whether Twitch even accepts it, but that's where I'm at. I'm at all the way capital O, all the way capital O, the Lord Yahweh, capital F. Small caps aren't a font thing, but a style thing. I see. So it's not in Unicode. Done researching the Stell. Is it supposed to be Stell? Steel? Stella? Crunchy Stellas? I don't want to suspect you of anything, but something feels odd. She has mind reading? Oh, okay. BT dubs. Stella? It's about your friends, right? Hey, that'll do. Is the good call. Capital O, capital O, and then let's set pound sign. But I think the pound sign's not supposed to look like an F. It's supposed to look like a like an L for Libra, right? It's a Greek type of slab that serves as a monument. Oh, today I learned. And it's pronounced Stella. So the fast forward button must mean that this game is people expect you to speedrun it. Great speedrun support. That's good with this volume of text for you want to have some way to skip it quickly. The main menu under diary, there's a list of things to do. This information comes from characters or events. Select map. If I didn't get the sense it was I mean, it's blocked me from going certain directions, but it was still letting me explore a little bit. I apologize. Even drunk me, I did not mean that as a dig against the game. I was just... Hudson making fun of Ribbon for giving me shit. There's a way to finish it without upgrades. That's cool. I like games that do stuff like that. It requires extra thought. A cute bunny girl walks in, it's Serena. Remember telepathy? It's a useful ability. Roomy donut. Roomy cake. Thanks, Mom. Pressing back opens Serena's consumables inventory. Oh, consumables. 
Do I need to interact with a warp orb in order for it to unlock a location, or can I just walk under it? Played it on a hard. Could this be the shot? It was really hard until you started using consumables. Oh wow, that's cool. Just as cute as I imagined. The store has lots of useful items and I can get them to you for free. Okay, she doesn't just sell everything for free. Damn it! No! Stop being Edgar from Final Fantasy VI. If someone offers you something for free, you say yes! I don't know what PP is yet. Generate BP over time. All right, God damn it! I like this game a lot. Ah! I like the upgrades. See the HP of non-boss enemies. It just increases my base movement speed, that's nice. PP's gotta be something like power points. What makes sense? Shit. I gotta stop pressing the B button, I gotta like remap that to... shoulder button or something. Hey, thanks, Leon. You're super awesome. Stripped down to only the gameplay and exploration. It's one of the most solid, well-realized Metroidvanias. Wow! I'm digging it so far. I, I thought it was going to be like a puzzle game. That was my... In my brain, not knowing anything about it. That was what I guessed. She wore a strange expression all day. This is your third offense. Alright, combat time. Time I jump better to not take damage there. Are there other bullet hell Metroidvanias? I guess, like you said, kind of sort of um, cave story. But that's set out to be that. 
I guess there's a couple parts in Iconoclast that kind of have that sort of thing going on. Right. I guess this yellow weapon makes it really easy for me to maintain a combo, right? I guess time during the bullet hell attacks don't count against my combo. Maybe. Oh, it's time not taking damage more than anything else, I see. I'm trying to maintain combo there, not realizing how it actually worked. S rank finish. Nice. Fairies or different levels of fairies? Triple S? Yikes. How many S's can you put together? So I missed if someone answered earlier. Does the combo rating actually give you any kind of benefit? That's a lot of bunnies. Bunny patterns? Did those rabbit lovers do this? Bunnies are not naturally cute creatures. Bit of a side to badges, okay. Bragging rights, basically. No, like, bonus XP. boost attack during the fight. Okay, that's cool. And combos are based on success, uh, successive times without taking damage? Is that the rule? Or can it decay if you spend too much time without dealing any damage? up here. No worries. Equip it in the badge menu. Damage taken. Oh, that's cool. Skullo, how do you feel about the difficulty? We're having a tough time, I can help you out. 100% legit. No, we're good. Increase the difficulty now, that's okay. It's cool to give you a choice after you see what the game is like, though. Take that. Not a good tilt. Pair of shoes. Maybe you can run faster, do special footwork, jump higher, walk through the air. <laughs> That's nice. Find a way around, huh? Find some shoes. Exclamation point bid, that's correct. If you win, are you planning to add Baba, sir?
cool. Sneakers in this game are cool too. <laughs> Dead or Alive 3. It's reasonable. I'm gonna learn what causes contact damage and what doesn't. I'm gonna get more carrot bomb XP too. Where can I see my current progress? I don't know what I thought this game was going to be, but it's way better than what I thought it was going to be, so that's cool. If I focus too much on using uh, Ribbon's ability, am I going to pay for that later? Or like other fights where I really need to use the hammer? Or is it just a separate viable build style? Trivial to max out. Okay, so the XP system is just a way to gate some of the complexity of it. It's not there to actually be something that you worry about for the whole game. This kind of reminds me of like Ragnarok Online, those sorts of like, Korean games. That's a cool attack. I do like the damage numbers getting bigger and bigger. I wonder how I avoid that. I guess I should go under it once you spawns it. Five percent increase in damage for each rank. Okay, I think I have to be really close to it when she summons it. Hey, thanks for the sub good effects. Appreciate that. Got it. First try. You're super awesome. Nice as the shooting cute hearts at me. All right, I've got max PP. Actually, try to use that in a battle instead of accidentally triggering it constantly. All the bunny pictures on the walls. I have established that mechanic. Oh, that's different. Opposite of the yellow one. Super clear, how does burst work? It just doesn't attack against the enemy automatically.
I'm too close to this thing to not take damage there. I don't need to manage it once I trigger it, basically. No, you're good. It looks different too with my uh, Chrono Trigger font and stream. I like the card suit enemies, that's cool. most concerned with. It's hard to sight read. Maybe a little short hop, that's nice. So you can do damage, more efficient DPS. This is probably a fun speedrun, right? Does she do significantly more damage in melee range? Can't really tell. Bunny hops, ah, uh, nice. I see the 5% attack now, that's cool. Drugs! Maximum jump height increased. Awesome. These belong to the bunny lovers. Will she permanently increase or decrease your difficulty? And is there an in-game benefit to being higher or lower difficulty? Like, does it give you more experience or drops or anything like that? No, that's okay. I'm just curious if it's just letting you change so you can calibrate it for your own self. Or if it actually does something. The hammer's really strong. It's very cool. I like it. Whoops. Just a challenge, okay. That's fair, that's true for most games. I might go back now that I have an enhanced jump. Oh, I'll explore forward for now. We can do that later. I didn't realize that you could uh, trigger your BP ability without the bar being full. It's good to know. I keep pressing the B button as like a cancel button. Water? 
Don't go this way, okay. Did I just die? We're completely unprepared and moving is difficult underwater. I didn't die, but I got hit pretty bad. This is like a much better version of Bunny Must Die. I have a similar premise, also featured a bunny girl and a, and a unitar as the protagonist, but also made like a kind of awkward sound effect whenever you jumped. And had some questionable mechanics. Yeah, I think mechanics-wise, this game is very tight. So what is her actual... Like, what? which parts of her actually take damage? It's much smaller than her character appears to be. As is typical for this bullet hell genre, right? Charge shot, charge faster. Well, that's pretty nice. It's a fairly significant effect. Hey, region. Let me click your illustration. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god, that's teeny tiny. Her cleavage? Basically? pretty standard, I think, for these games, for your hitbox to be close to the size of one pixel. Supposed to be her heart, okay. Mana up. I feel like that's telling me I should be trying to use the bomb more often, right? Image from Dev, I see. Oh, it's 7x7. Seven seven. I thought it was just one from that picture. Really. What's up? I'm gonna use the ice machine if you want. Thank you. Me. I will mute. I appreciate. Papa Gable says, don't forget to tell Andrew I stole your gin. Wait, who stole? You stole my gin? I drank some of your gin because I'm playing an anime game, and I previously had committed to drinking before How playing. How much did you have? Right, the bottle's right there. You just swig it? <laughs> oh, wait, you should unmute. Do you, I'm unmuted. Do ah. you want, uh, do you still want Taco Bell? Yes. You should probably wait to drink. Why? I don't think I should drive to Taco Bell. Slow. Okay. We'll wait we'll wait to leave for a couple hours since we finish streaming. Right, well, or we can always go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. Let's Watch be safe. Dylan over here. Oh yeah. More boss plates. Wait, hey Dylan? Irresponsible. Dylan. Hold on one sec. What's up? Can you mute? Mm -hmm. 
Andrea would like to do some Jackbox if you guys are cool with that. After Rabby Ribby. Set it up. And we'll do Drunk Taco Bell tomorrow when I can drive her. Figure out how to dodge that attack. Drunk Jackbox today, there you go. Yeah, except you're gonna be the one who's drunk. Well, you're able to drink if we're not going anywhere. I will, I know, but it, you know, it takes some time. You're not as a lightweight as I am. <sighs> this is a hard fight. She has a lot of hit points. I was promised titties. They're in the game. Okay. You were promised? Yes. It wasn't a promise, it was a warning. You, I was promised titties. Oh my god, Andrew. <laughs> You're undermining my whole position here, Andrea. I'm sorry. How do I dodge that? I feel like there's gotta be nothing that's undodgeable, right? Like, that's traditional. Hey, this is my wife, Andrea. I don't know if the gift's gonna play. It's been janky lately. I'll turn it on manually. Not much, just got back. I had to go into work on my day off because reasons I had to we got a shipment of all of our equipment from the experiment we did in Santa Barbara last week. And so I had to bring it all in. Now, one of the pieces of equipment is this giant black, like, plastic uh -oh. thing. It's about as tall as I am, and it's, like, yay wide. And um, it's on wheels. But guess what? Guess what? 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 One of the wheels broke off. Ooh, so it was on me. three wheels. So I started, you know, I didn't know this. I didn't see the wheel on the top of the thing because I wasn't looking up there. It's tall. So I start pulling it and then it leans and it's like going to fall over. I'm like, fuck! Because it's like really sensitive equipment. Oof. Thankfully, Pat. This, he switched Pat's his one schedule. Of your yeah, my coworker Pat was in today, so he helped. I pulled while he stabilized. And then we had like three boxes. How do you and use consumables? I thought you used them from the menu. So you have to use them in real time, which I think I prefer. If you're gonna have consumables, I'd rather they not be like a free pause to heal. Did you drink all my gin? You drank all my gin. Well, it wasn't very much. So whatever's in that cup there. There's still some left in the cup. You were drinking it straight? Yeah. Put some fresca in there, it's good. It's not good. Yeah, look, the bottle is fucking empty. But it's in here. Yeah, wanna see what's in there? A sip, a sip or two. How do you, hold on, maybe this will tell me. How do it's I a good use- good thing I wanted to do Jameson and Ginger today. How do I use consumables, guys? Back button. Down. Oh god, I think I triggered it. Now, good thing about going into work, I had an excuse to wear my steel-toed shoes. Because I knew I was going to be moving this big, heavy thing, and I've done it before, and it's fallen on my feet. I think that was incredible damage, given the amount of effort I had to do for it. Thanks, Ivy. Appreciate it. Ouch. And I press the down with the, I press in the direction of the command I want to use basically, is that right? So is this like Smash, but with anime checks? No, it's like a, a Metroidvania bullet hell game. Oh, so this is a boss? This is a boss, yeah. Okay. Oh, and I died. Things are going well. And you press those on the D-pad to trigger them. Are those bunny ears? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, she's a bunny lady. Ah. She is a bunny. Uh huh. She like um. She's literally a bunny that was turned into a sexy human. Gotcha. There's the titties. That's what she wanted. Well, you zoomed out of it so fast. I'm not really satisfied. Well, I've seen the menu before. I died, so I screwed up the boss fight. I was so close to winning, though. I was like one hit point away. Oh, I can still hammer while I'm charging my range attack. That's good to know. The analog input works as well. Okay, thanks. She has contact damage on her. Keep that in mind. This boss team is pretty dope. You like cool baselines. I do. Mitsu is my man. Ow. Don't stand in the middle of that. Oh, it doesn't do damage to me while it's uh, angled in. That's cool. Wait, so why why were you drinking gin again? It's a anime game with the regrettable anime fan term fan service, and I've committed that whenever we play a game that's like that, I'm going to drink. Uh, Propagable reminded me of my promise because it makes it more tolerable. Lubricates the experience. This is actually a super good game, though. It's just that it has Titty. sexy anime. You know, they're honestly not as bad as I thought they were going to be when you were telling me about it. Yeah, well, the the box art, the thumbnails, concerning. Ah, okay. Like. You see sprites more often than you see in game. I thought there was gonna be a puzzle game where it was gonna be popping up with their the art all the time, but it's mostly the pixel art, which is pretty reasonable but so far. I think I did better on my first attempts, and I wasn't using the hammer. Uh, so he was telling me that I guess Final Fantasy XIV is gonna allow all, either like all characters to have you know choice of the same outfits. Yeah, I'm really excited about Whether that. Whether they're male or female. So I would say I'm looking forward to a guy wearing a vagina cape, is what I would call <laughs> it for a girl, but I guess it's a penis cape, and I was wondering if we're going to get bulge bulge action. I don't know if they'll do the bulge. Big props to Yoshi P, though. They if you haven't been following Final Fantasy XIV, Yoshi P shared a personal testimonial where he was in uh, Japan, and there was someone that was probably biologically male who was wearing like a sailor outfit and he saw a mom across the street like cover her child's eyes so that the child wouldn't see it and he felt really bad about that he said that's not okay he's like it's also not okay that our game has gender exclusive gear so we're going to make it so that male characters can wear dresses and that female characters can wear tuxes and we're going to remove gender restrictions on um Weddings, and I'm like, way to go, Yoshi P. It's very progressive. Super progressive. Okay, so what I mean by vagina cape is it's like a bikini bottom, but with a butt cape behind it. Yeah, but with a skirt that doesn't have a front, so you have the back of the skirt, which is kind of like a cape for the vagina. Yeah, the the fairy's or outfit. Or apparently now. The I could have come up with another term. The fairy's outfit is what's on the box art, and I saw that and I was like, oof. I said capital O, capital O, lowercase f, oof. It's still not that bad. Are you serious? The fairy? The I mean, she's pretty very bad. close to naked, but her tits aren't that huge. That's the problem. Why is that a problem? Because she's meant to be like 10 or something. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If she's 10. That's the alcohol. That's not cool. She's actually a thousand years old, Andrea. Oh, well, then what's the problem? Are <laughs> you kidding? Wow, and her tits are still <laughs> up and perky after a thousand years? I'm impressed. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Seeing it makes you obsessed with bunnies, so it's quite dangerous for you. I love how we're friends with everyone we murder. I know Lit Effects linked to the TV trips about that. 
What? I was well, we confused. fight everyone and then we immediately become friends with them after we kick their ass. Oh. Well, I mean, it's like Pokemon, right? Yeah. I guess it's kind of like Pokemon. Very common anime trope. I like the music change when you're under the water. That's cute. Yeah, music so far is on point. Did it again. Press the B button to back out of the warp menu. I like Detective Pikachu very much. That was a good game. Good movie. Did you enjoy Detective oh, Pikachu? I did enjoy it. It was a delightful time. I thought that the Pikachu character was really adorable. Yeah. And I've been racking my head like, there must be people who analyze every like single curvature and stuff. Like, why is Pikachu adorable but the Sonic isn't? And it's not just the teeth. I'm going back to the starting forest because I have a high jump and I want to see if I missed any pickups. No, it's not where the game wants me to go. I think they respected the original design from the games, which is the biggest advantage. District Attorney Eevee? Yeah, District Attorney is, Eevee. Is that really happening or no, is that a joke? No, that's a good God joke. God damn it. It's because they've got <laughs> they could have... Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, so it's got to be District they Attorney. They could have um, his or her, sorry, um, co-counsel be, um, what's sure. his nuts? From Law and Order, on there uh, forever. Sam? Yeah. What's the actor's name? The, the character's name is Jack. Jack, yeah. He became the DA. Not in human size, right? There's some really good, very adult jokes in Detective Pikachu. Good movie, I enjoyed it. I think it was a little bit rushed in the third act, but I did it again. There must be another button to leave that menu. I feel like the boost attack, at least for her yellow gun, is kind of not impressive. So why are you hurting your friends? They're not my friends, they're regular people wearing bunny ears. Or I am a literal bunny who has been transformed into a, a lady. Uh-huh. So they're they're posers. They're not friends. Are you serious? That's why you're killing Why are you killing the actual bunnies then? Because of um the economy? <laughs> bunnies are taking all the jobs. It's the germs! It's the germs! I have anxiety, okay? And anxiety, as we all know, justifies atrocities. I did kill kitties. I felt really bad about murdering the kitties. They're enemies, they hurt you. Uh huh. Hi, Ben and Marty. Hungry. Not you. I love you guys. I would never <laughs> hurt you. They're staring us down there up on the. Yeah, kitchen ledge. You need to find the cat cam. I think they knocked it off the desk at some point. That sounds like them. Meow. They're just both Bez twitching his tail in annoyance. It's true, so I can find the cat cam real fast. I cannot find it real quick, real fast. Where'd they knock it to? Good lord, kitties. Oh, oh hey, Ben. You're coming to join us anyway. I love you. You're my precious little girl. I'm really worried that I'm going to end up only using Ribbon's ability in this game instead of using the hammer, even though the hammer is better damage because I feel like it's safer to use the range attack. This is what I ended up doing in Nier Automata. And I'm like, Nier Automata feels like trash to play. And it's like, no, I'm just playing it wrong. And I tried to grab him. He was too quick. I guess I can use the range attack until I learn what the attacks are and then use the hammer. Red Star? No, I've never heard of it. What kind of game is it? It's a PS2 game. Ooh, I can't drop a uh, carrot bomb there. That's interesting.
I can't jump high enough to reach that. Streets of Rage and Bullet Hell for PS2. Is there an agreed upon like first Bullet Hell game or like formative Bullet Hell games? Gattaca? Or you know what I mean. Galaga? Galaga? Yeah. They're really similar words. Galaga's not Bullet Hell. There's not enough on the screen. No, what about like um, Space Invaders? Bullet Hell often implies like... Well, but the first one probably isn't going to have like a bunch. Oh, you're... never mind. That's the definition of Bullet Hell. It implies like 90% or more of the screen is covered with shit that can kill you in a lot of cases. I'll show you when we... If we get to another boss fight before the session's over, you'll see. Cave and treasure are probably the ones who made it popular. Sure, treasure made the, what was it, Gunstar Heroes games like that? This is cool, the silhouette. Oh yeah, Asteroid? It's not marked on the map, we should turn back. I don't think you could have bullet hell games without Asteroid, but I don't think that Asteroids is a is a bullet hell game. Because there's just not enough on the screen to threaten you. Well, they probably didn't have like the memory for all that shit. Exactly. Like it's something that's only possible with slightly more modern tech. Cause like part of the trick to it is that most of the stuff that's on the screen cannot possibly threaten you, right? She is only vulnerable in her cleavage. Really? The rest of her body is not a hitbox. Really? It's her heart, technically, I guess, but... I mean, getting punched in the tits hurts. Andrea said it. You heard it here, folks. Hey, all right. Sounds like the hitbox for that's kind of janky, but we can do it. Batsugun, 1993. All right, 93 seems to jump with like my own idea of the earliest possible date you could have one. Are those the cats? Uh, those are not the cute cats. They're cute kitties that look just like Ben. And I feel very bad about it. Oh, right, I haven't leveled up my... So am I already at max level for the charge shot and for ra rapid shot and the hammer attack? So I haven't leveled those up in a while. Whenever I destroy stuff with my uh, scantily clad uh, fairy friend, I get a relationship XP. Alright, you and guys become besties. I like the idea that there is such a thing as relationship XP. So earlier I was saying, I want to have more games that have noun XP. Can people think of a good thing that is a noun with the XP attached to it? And someone said, Taco XP. And I want to play that game. Someone was like, well, is it, is it like XP for cooking tacos or XP for consuming tacos? Someone else is like, it's two systems. Yeah, por que no los dos? It's both. It's amazing. So in a post-apocalyptic, dystopian, corporatist setting. I mean, obviously. Can it be like a um, Demolition Man universe? I think that's fair. Where Taco Bell is the sole survivor of mm -hmm. the franchise wars. Exactly. Okay, no, those tiffs. <laughs> That's a good name for the protagonist in this taco RPG. And I tell you that I, I get to practice my Spanish with a lunch lady. No, that's cool. Yeah. Um... She, you know, she's like, oh, what size do you want? I'm like, frijoles y arroz. <laughs> I mean, it's really like basic stuff. And right. she's like, ah, oh, si, señorita. Oh, oh uh, eh, señora. And I'm like, yeah, si, señora. I point to my wedding ring. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, cuanto años 
Tangas or whatever it was. I love you, Andrew. And I'm like, ah, oh, 32. I remember that. Pablo's Taco Mia on Congregate has Taco XP, sort of? Help me to understand. I haven't played enough Congregate games, apparently. Customer ranks an employee level, but then you're just making tacos. Nice. Oh, I can't crawl yet, though. Ah, you crawl ability. Drivania. Got so much stuff to find. You understand. Why are all these things trying to kill you? Because I have. Fairy friend? Because I'm a bunny lady. I'm actually a bunny. I'm not just a lady who is pretending to be a bunny. Fairy, no, no. Yeah, I got it. That's important, Andrea. They've okay. discussed that in the story several times. So, Do you have a compulsive need to eat carrots and hump things? Not yet. Why can't I straight crawl? <laughs> I think my favorite variant on that is the whole Halo is a pretty cool guy. He fights to aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. So I am getting, if not XP, I'm getting like money whenever I kill stuff. I should go back to that shop, because there are a bunch of cool things in the shop that I wanted. So does the blue laser do a little bit more damage per shot? It just doesn't have the big charge window and doesn't pierce. It's not much more, it looks like. More single target TPS, I see. So that's not a bunny, the green check. It's a that's lady a wearing bunny ears. A bunny. Okay, just making sure and I. She's I'm a huge sure. fan of me because I am an actual bunny. Yep. Stronger boost. Yeah, the boost on the yellow one is pretty trash. That would make sense. Nice, but I can't crawl! I'm gonna be so pumped when I can finally crawl. There's another thing that I can't crawl through! Oh, it's hurting me. In my heart of hearts. Oh, boss fight. Maybe. Shuri, why is she here? Here to fulfill our agreements. I love that her like bathing suit is so tight that you can see her belly button. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, oh, sh that's pretty fucking tight. Yeah. Unitard. Sky thing is happening again. There are no bunnies nearby. It'll pass in a while. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to fight her just yet. So she has contact damage. It's good to know. She's pretty tough. I don't think I'm supposed to fight her right now. I don't have a lot of resources. My damage numbers are quite low. I could probably beat her with practice. She's level 14. I actually don't know what level 14 means. 
the context of the rest of the game. Maybe that's just to compare relative strength of different bosses. I like this song. This song's pretty cool, I agree. Yeah, Dylan, it means she has 14 levels. Yeah, is that what that means? Yeah. If you're thinking that she had 16 levels, that's right out. That's wrong. Oh, I need to charge MP with her. I didn't realize that when she's on the blue gun. I wish I could duck to avoid that. I need to jump. The snow chick earlier was also level 14, thanks. Rock the base. That's a cool pattern. Now I see the tell for it. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I think I need to. I wish I had crouched for that. It'd be a lot easier to avoid. I can see this being pretty hard on hard mode. I haven't found a warp point recently at all, have I? Oh god. Okay. See, that looks a lot more dangerous than it was, right? You might have just got lucky. I don't know if I could have dodged that unless if I were further away from her or behind her. That's time, though. Um, this game is really cool. Death Johnson, if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, thank you for sharing it. It's a really neat game. I enjoy it. We are going to play some Jackbox. Give me a second to Ooh. get that Here, set up. Your gym. Future Marstead, uh, when you come back to this game... Remember, uh, you are a bunny. You are not a girl in a bunny outfit. You are a bunny. Remember that. that that's critical. Into a human. Critical. And then maybe work your way back to the town to, to buy some stuff before you fight this boss, because you do have a ton of resources, and I think you got to her a little bit early. I'll be back in a few with uh, Jackbox. I'll see you guys soon.